during just one week during the reporting period, the Syrian Lira's market rate depreciated more than in the entire nine years prior, before rallying somewhat. But currency and price volatility remain acute, and the inflation right has hit peak levels in the past six months. The economic crisis is hitting every part of Syria, regardless of territorial control from Damascus and the southwest to Aleppo and the northwest and to the northeast. Medicine is more expensive and scarce. Food prices have skyrocketed and the supply chains have been disrupted. The purchasing power of ordinary Syrians has seriously diminished as wages, both private and public sector, are vastly inadequate to meet the demands of the day. Mr. President, before the recent deterioration, over 80% of Syrians were estimated to be living below the poverty line. The situation is undoubtedly more severe today, and the intensity of that poverty is likely more acute. The World Food Programme no estimates that some 9.3 million people are food insecure, with over 2 million more at risk. We have heard of shops and pharmacies forced to close, unable to cope with the recent volatility, of jobs being lost, of remittances drying up. In some areas of northwest Syria, reports have emerged of locals increasingly using foreign currencies. 